Ah, welcome to the Witcher Math Channel. Today, I'm going to talk about something called the Shuffle Method. We're working on uh, going from an equation to a table, and sometimes there's a monkey wrench in there called a fraction, which throws us off. And uh, wouldn't it be nice if we could just go straight from an equation to a table and not worry about the fraction? Well, hell, you've come to the right place. Um, of course, you should follow the saga on Spotify, but uh, on to some math content. Here we go. First of all, we need to establish some uh, background information. We need to agree upon this. Can we agree that uh, the y-intercept, sometimes you'll see this called the initial value in your textbook, depending on what book you're using, um, but... The y-intercept looks like that on a table. It looks like that in an equation. And it looks like that on a graph. Okay, you can tell from the graph that my definition here, which is the unofficial definition, I just made it up. But it makes sense, it's practical. It's a dot on the y-axis through which a line or other graph passes. Okay, but the bottom line is it's a dot on the y-axis, okay? Which looks like that in an equation and that in a table. Are we good? Yay, okay. So now we can move forward. So our goal today is simply to go from an equation to a table. If you came here looking to learn about integers or the quadratic formula or something, you're watching the wrong video, although I have stuff like that on my channel. Just search for it. But here we are. We're trying to go from an equation to a table. Now, if we start with something like this, whole number, let's use that as an example. I start with the y-intercept, which is right here, which means x equals 0. Okay, because look, when you're on the graph, zero. Anywhere on that line, x is going to be zero. So we start there. And then from there, we could say y goes up two for each x. Now, the reason I spelled it out like this in a sentence is it follows, even though that's an equal sign, we're going to use the word goes up y goes up 2 for each x. And remember, each is our invisible multiplication sign in there. So this part is this sentence. So on my xy table, each means 1. So I can go by 1 on my x's. And I can go by 2 on my y's. And my table is filled in. Okay. Now, when we get a fraction, things change a little bit. Okay, let's see how they change. Let's go y equals 1 third x plus 1. Okay, I used plus 1 so we don't have to argue about uh, where the y-intercept is here. We know it's there because we just did it up here, okay? Remember, it's x, y table. x is always on top. Now, all of a sudden, we have an issue. Because this says y goes up one-third for each x. So we're going to use a combination of uh, strategies here. No, we're not. What am I doing? Ugh, it's the shuffle method. So here's what we do. Let me line this up. I'm going to take my fraction going to take my table, that's a y, and I'm going to shuffle. Everybody shuffle in. So I'm going to change my x's by 3. And what was on top is now below. y is changed by 1. And there we go. What just happened? Mr. Witcher, that's crazy. Do that again. Okay. Let's 
Let's do a different one. Let's say we have an equation like this. Negative, oh, two-thirds x. Y equals negative two-thirds x. Okay, well, first of all, we're going to just separate out our fraction here for demonstration purposes. Let's make our little table. What's the initial value, the y-intercept? Zero, right, because there's poof. There's nothing there, so it's zero. Now we do the shuffle method. Negative two. Positive three. Crazy. Okay, wow. Let's flip this over and have you practice a couple times, okay? Then we can go into more detail if you want to, or you could walk away and say, yeah, I just learned a shortcut. Okay, let's do a little uh, 3 halves x plus 2. And how about y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 1. And we'll give you one more since I have room down here. Y equals, hmm, I like those negatives. Negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Okay. Remember, your only goal here, this is your practice, by the way. Your goal is to get from equation to table. So I would call it cheating if you're going to do anything else here because we're practicing this very specific skill. Okay, Can you just go from the equation to the table without a graph and uh, figure this out? So pause the video, do these three, and then I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Do, 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 Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back. You know what the music means. We're going to do a little shuffling. First, y-intercept. Next, shuffle. What's 2 plus 3? What's 5 plus 3? What's 8 plus 3? Very good. And bottom to top, what's 0 plus 2? Plus 2 plus 2. Yes. Now, how do you know it's right? Well, you could trust me. You could trust the butcher. Or, <laughs> um, let's see here, we've got, we could substitute, right? 3 halves of x, remember this is x. Let's say 4 plus 2. Does this really work? Let's test it out. That's 12 over 2 plus 2, which is 6 plus 2, which is 8. That's proof. If you ever wonder, hey, is this working? You can always substitute and proof. Okay, but then the problem is you actually have to deal with the fraction, and kind of the whole point of this is... We don't want to deal with fractions in this context. Of course, we love fractions. Everybody loves fractions in their own way. Here we go. So, we start with y-intercept. Then, this is important here, we always go right, which means x is always positive. So when you have a negative sign over here, that always means down. It never means go left, okay? So we're gonna shuffle. We're gonna go down. Literally, we're going from the top to the bottom. Down one, 
And from the bottom to the top, we're shuffling four. Okay, and the point here is, why do this? It makes graphing easy. Graphing is easy with whole numbers. Oh, obviously. Here we go, let's do this last one and then get out of here. This video is run long, just like they all do. Sorry. Okay, we've got negative two-thirds x plus four. We're practicing these negatives. First, y-intercept. Next, what is it? Next, shuffle. Remember, this means down. Downtown, minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two, forever. If you want to, but I'd recommend stopping before then. Finally, uh, three X's. Let's go green. Three, six, nine. That's it, right? Is this for real? Does this really work? Of course, you can proof it. Okay, y equals negative two-thirds, let's take this one, times three plus four equals negative six-thirds plus four equals negative two plus four, which is two. Bam! Bam, bam, bam. Okay, done. That's enough for this one. Remember what we were learning here was the shuffle method, how to take those fractions that are in an equation and change it into a table that has no fractions. It's like magic. Thank you so much. Follow me on Spotify. They are good songs. Give it a shot. Talk to you later. Bye.